Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. Today we're going to move forward with our blends skills and I'm going to share with you how I created this little uh, 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 bluebird. Um, I checked on the on the internet apparently this is the sort of colouring that you would expect for a western bluebird and um, I'm using this as an opportunity to introduce another of the uh, Stampin' Blends products, which is the Colour Lifter. Um, so uh, we're going to start by uh, stamping um, our image. And as I've explained before, because these uh, pens are alcohol based or solvent based, you need to have a water based ink pad. And that's why we're using the Memento ink at this for this. And I'm also using the thick uh, card. This is, I'm using very vanilla for this one. So we're going to stamp the bird. And I'm just going to try and get him as sort of central from side to side and a little bit toward the bottom here. So there's our, there's our little bird and that's as much as we need to do that. So the colours I've chosen to use today are the light night of navy the uh, light crumb cake uh light old olive and i think this is the light smoky slate so these are nice sort of soft colors for our little bird so as i've explained before um you've got um a, a thick end and a thin end so this is like your brush end here and down below you have a um a writing or a bullet end and you'll find that the fibers on this end are a lot firmer than the fibers on the brush end so i'm going to start uh with working the bottom of of his little chest here and as i've explained in other videos I prefer to use the side of the brush tip because then that um, gives me a sort of a broadish sweep, but it doesn't damage the, the tip. If you're not careful, you will find that the tip of the, um, of, of the, of the brush end can actually sort of get uh, mashed and frayed and it won't work. So I've just gently laid down a little of the, um, this is the light smoky slate. So there we have, you can't really see very much at the moment, but we've got that there. Now the crumb cake, uh, it doesn't look, when you look at the two together, they don't look too far apart, but actually this has got a more brownie effect. And from my research, I could see that the, western bluebird has a little brown bit that kind of just goes up to his or her chinny chin chin and as you can see i'm just laying these colors gently down i'm not putting any pressure and i'm just going to try and just sort of blend a little bit into where i put the smoky slate then I'm going to go with the light night of navy to do the rest of him, and I'm and I'm not um, I'm not going to do his eye, but even this light night of navy is actually quite dark. But I'm just going to lay a layer down, and I'm going to do his tail as well. And you can see I'm just using little flick mo movements like I explained in my previous uh, posts on using blends. And if you if you look below this video, you will see a link uh, to my blog. And on my blog, you will find that I've I've put more details and there also be links there to the um 
other videos that I have done. So if we look at the two, you can see that this one here is sort of quite a solid blue and quite dark. And this one here has kind of got some variation. And this is where the lifter, the colour lifter comes in. And once again, this has got a brush tip and it's also got the sort of bullet end. So I'm going to use the brush tip and um, I'm going to use the same motion. Let me just bring this close in a bit more in. Just wait a sec. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There we go. That's better. And I'm just going to use, as I say, the same motion. And I'm just going to... And you can see it looks a bit wet to start with. But if you work it a little bit more, you'll see that it's actually getting lighter. And this has lifted the colour. And if you look... Let's come back into focus. There is no colour on the end of my pen. It's all... Um, uh, you, so you don't have to clean it or anything like that. So I'm going to take a bit of colour off of his head and under his chin. Like this. And so the basically the colour lifter allows you to bring in variations of colour. And I'm going to do the same on the join between the smoky slate and the crumb cake on his little chest down here. Like that. And again, you should be able to see that it's kind of blending in really well around his little back end there. And again, there's still no colour on my on my tip here. Now, the other thing that you can use the uh, colour lifter for is if you accidentally colour outside of your line. And what you will do is uh, you'll just gently uh, stroke the colour away. You might need to sort of leave it for a few moments for the alcohol to evaporate before you go back again. And you don't want to put much pressure on because if you're not careful, then your card will start to pill. So I'm just going to go back and compare my two little, um, my two little birds. And I'm thinking that they're not too bad. Maybe I'll take a little bit more and out from underneath his chin here. That's better. Oh, now, as I've said in previous uh, videos, make sure that you put your caps on firmly when you finish with them. Because as these are alcohol or solvent based, they will evaporate and then they won't be um, any, any good. So I'm just going to move out a little bit so that you can see as I finish off the card. So I've got my little bit of pear pizzazz and all I'm going to do for this is I'm just gonna put, oh sorry, it's not pear pizzazz, it's old olive getting carried away. Just put a little bit of something to ground my little guy here. So there he is. Um, I just perhaps want to color his beak. So because it's a tiny weeny little, um, uh, piece. Um, I'm going to use the bullet end this time and this is the bronze one, bronze marker. And I'm just going to... My first instinct was to do it yellow but when I looked at my picture apparently the beaks aren't yellow, they're brown. So brown or bronze, I've used the bronze. So I'm just going to finish this card off for you. So, uh, what did I do with my other bits and pieces? Gone. Um, so, we're going to 
finish anyway. So I chose to use Knight of Navy and Pear Pizzazz and I um, to just do my layers. Again, if you check out my, oh, I wanted to show you. Can you see how with the um, blends it bleeds through to the card? So whenever you do use the blends, make sure that you're going to, it's going to be on a layer that you are going to attach to your card rather than on the, the say, the base because it, it, it will bleed through. And that's what it's supposed to do. So it's not like it's gone wrong or I've gone too heavy handed. It would help if I put the right one there. There we go. And then a little on the back and onto my Knight of Navy layer. There we go. Perfect. I'm putting this onto a very vanilla card base. It's, uh, it's the um, extra thick and I've got a layer of vanilla as well, which I have run here through the Brickworks embossing folder i this is a really good one i like it very much and then my little guy i am going to attach him with some stamping dimensionals and they were here there they are And if you've watched me before, you know I like to do one on each corner and one in the middle. And we're just going to pop him down here like that. So I've just got a little bit more stamping. We're going to just stamp a few leaves on the inside. Like that. And on the envelope, because I do like to have my decorated envelopes. This one, I think I'm just gonna make it into a little spray. and we are done well i hope that you've enjoyed this technique i'm i just want to quickly show the stamp set that um, i got my little bird from is the free as a bird stamp set there he is if you want to do more there's this lovely little uh, twig with all these little birds on and that would allow you to practice even more with your blends so hope you've enjoyed this one and that you will have a go don't forget to go to my to my blog by following the link beneath the video uh, if you've enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and why not go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you don't subscribe to my channel already thank you for joining me today i look forward to seeing you next time bye for now